So today's quad session is over and uh, this is basically an experiment I'm doing with myself and I don't know what to call it, maybe ultra safe lifting. I, I don't use it with any of my, my athletes, I never used it with myself. However, uh, learning from previous uh, training cycles in which I, I I got badly injured close to a competition and uh, I was I was doing uh, high volume and very 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 high intensity for what I, I believe I mean it's uh, usually it would not be it would be okay uh, I'm a cautious coach so I I, I thought it was uh, the right combination of intensity and uh, volume However, I did not take into account the life circumstances I was going through, and they're, they're, uh, they make the athlete highly vulnerable to injury and, and such. And we must not forget that, um, well, this is a stupid weight. It's not more than 130-something kilos, and I, I, I usually consider that I'm starting to, to squat about 135 kilos for five but as I looked at the last video I had 105 for five again you know beginning of of the ascendant curve of intensity I was in an air-conditioned environment my home gym my my own environment it's you know this private territory is very important um, in, in in psychological terms and it does affect your performance and I had Ugo behind me so uh, he's my partner he's my best friend and he's big and he's incredibly strong so I don't know I could put 160 there which I did and he and Andrea can uh, easily hold it um, so this level of confidence it's, it's, uh, it's a whole different ball game. Um, as you can see, there is absolutely nobody around here. I'm completely alone. Um, I'm coming from a long period of, of, of injuries. M um, my vastus medialis, both of them, right and, and left, had important tears at the myotendinous junction. Not good, not good news, okay? Because if these are not totally healed, they tend to tear again. And um, so I'm, I'm doing kind of the opposite of everything I did in the past two or three years that were, you know, highly stressful. And I was always reaching a good performance when some, when life happened and, and, and everything was lost because of a, a major injury. So now, I'm dieting slowly. I am. I am. I'm actually doing something I never did. I'm, I'm training in a linear form. I'm adding a little weight every microcycle, and um, and I think this is a cautious way to go for someone like me, who's training alone. Um, up to now, I took advantage of post-activation potentiation um, I, I believe it's a, a very good protocol to prevent injury because you get under the bar with um, around 80 or 80 something percent of your your maximum effort with um, everything pre-activated so um, the chances of having a, a tear because of tightness um, due to alarm tightness it's not gonna happen so yeah it, it worked for me um, am I gonna use it with everyone no no I use it with some people um, but fortunately fortunately 
most of my athletes are not in a situation where they uh, they're prone to injury, they're under too much stress. No, they're doing good. So this is an experiment. Um, up to now it's going good. I'm using really low volume. As you see, I mean, it's, this is, this is a, a way to do for five or six. And I'm doing just for two. But I, I'm not sure if the video shows how sweaty I am. I think I, 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 I had like three. Uh, the, um, that's 2.1 liters of water. And uh, I think I sweated all of it. And um, I am heat intolerant, just to make things a little bit more complicated to add to the equation. So the point is, um, every athlete is different. And if, as a coach, if I'm going to do something new, uh, I better do it with myself and test. If it doesn't go right, it's me and it's on me. I'm never going to make, you know, to experiment new things uh, on, on an athlete or, or on a client or a, a patient or, or anything. I'm cautious. So let me see how it works first with me and, uh, and then, you know, if, if there is something in the scientific literature that even remotely uh, relates to, to, to what I'm doing, fine. If not, I will discuss it with my peers and, um, and I will incorporate that as a strategy. And so we keep learning and we keep adapting. And one thing that we can't do is stop lifting.